My first Bible. The story of Moses from the book of Exodus, verse 1 to 4. After Joseph died, things changed for his people in Egypt. A new Pharaoh came to power. He did not know how Joseph had helped Egypt during the famine. The new Pharaoh watched the Israelites grow in number. He became afraid they would plot against the Egyptians and become more powerful than them. He decided he would work them harder so that they became weak and would have fewer children. He set them to work making bricks and building new cities. Gradually, Parao thorned the Israelites into the slaves of cruel Egyptian masters. Life became very difficult, but still the Israelite numbers grew. Finally, Parao decided that something more drastic had to be done. He ordered that every baby boy born to an Israelite must be thrown into the Nile River and drowned. At this time, an Israelite woman called Jochebed had a baby boy. She loved him dearly and managed to keep him hidden for three months. But soon the baby got bigger and noisier. It was hard to keep him a secret. Then Jochebed had an idea. She made a basket from reeds and waterproofed it by covering it with tar. Then she placed her baby in the basket and he hid it in the tall reeds at the edge of river. She told her daughter Miriam to stay close by and watch over him. Soon, Parao's daughter came to the river to bath. She saw the basket and as she looked into it, the baby began to cry. She realized that this was an Israelite boy and felt sorry for him. Quickly, Miriam stepped forward. Would you like me to find a nurse to look after the baby for you? She asked. Pharaoh's daughter agreed and Miriam ran to fetch her mother. Pharaoh's daughter asked Jochebed to look after the baby until he was old enough to live in Pharaoh's palace. She named him Moses. Jochebed was delighted to have the chance to care for her son a little longer. Moses grew up but although he looked Egyptian in his fine clothes, he never forgot that he was an Israelite and it angered him to see his people so badly treated by Egyptian. One day Moses saw an Egyptian master kill an Israelite slave. He was so angry he leapt at the Egyptian and killed him. Moses knew that Parao would find out what he had done, so he fled to the safety of the desert. Moses went to live in a land called Midian, where he stayed for a long time, working as a shepherd. One day, as he was watching over his flock of sheep, Moses noticed that a bush was on fire. The flames were strong, but the bush did not burn away. Moses went to get a closer look. As he did so, he heard a voice coming from the center of the burning bush saying, Take off your sandals, for the place where you are standing is holy ground. Moses did as he was told. Then the voice said, I am the God of Abraham and your ancestors. I have seen how the people of Israel are suffering. You are to go to Parao and free my people. Please don't send me, begged Moses. No one will listen to me. I will be with you, replied God. Go back to Egypt, find Aaron your brother and go with him to ask Pharaoh to set my people free.